Hi, and welcome to this small introduction to Unreal Engine. If this is the first time you are using Unreal Engine, you should start Epic Games Launcher and in Library, check your engine version. Here we are going to use version 4.25.3. So, just click Launch to launch this engine version. OK, now you have several categories, games, film, television and, li and live events, architecture, engineering and construction, automotive, product design and manufacturing. We are going to choose games for this example. Click on games and next. Now you have several templates to choose from. First person, you have, you have a preview here on the right side. For this example, let's choose third person. Here, third person and click Next. Now, we don't need to change anything here. There's this option, Starter Content. You can choose No Starter Content or With Starter Content. Starter Content will give you uh, extra models, textures. You can start um, using them right away. With no starter content, your levels are mainly empty. Um, and this is the option we are going to choose for now, because we don't need anything else. So just select a name. And create project. Now let's take a look at our level. So, this is our level. You can click play and start playing right away. And let's take a look at the UI. To start in the 3D viewport, which is this area, on the left side, we have the perspective. We have the different views. We have orthographic views, top, bottom, left, right, front, back, and perspective. Let's take a look at top view, for instance. Here we can see the top view, our entire level. From the left, so this is a side view, as you can see. This is our main character. The other objects in the scene. Now here, where it says lit. This is the shading mode we are using right now. So this is the lit. You can see the objects have light. They have reflections. They cast shadows. If I change the view mode from lit to unlit, the difference is obvious. Okay, so this is uh, the, this is the material with no light information. The, this is just the the plane, the base material. No lights, no shadows, no reflections, no effects at all. Then you have wireframe, in which you can see the edges. So this is just the geometry. And several other modes. We will talk about them later. 
So let's go back to lit. Here on the left side, you have the Place Actors tab. So you can just select any actor. Let's use a cube for this example and drag it to the level. A sphere, a cone, a cylinder. So any object you wish to use, you can simply drag it to your level. And what about these options here on the top right corner? The first one is move. So you are moving the object, but if you notice closely, the object is moving in increments of 10 centimeters. And why? Because the value we have here is 10 and Unreal Engine works in centimeters, so 10 centimeters. If you don't want to move in increments, you can just turn this off. And now you can move it freely. This is good to snap objects together when you are, when you are building a level with walls, floors, ceilings. Let's see, 100 centim centimeters. five centimeters. Okay, now the second option is related to rotate. So it's the same thing. If you want to rotate in increments, just leave this option turned on. So we are rotating every 10 degrees. Let the 45 degrees. Turn it off and you can rotate freely. The same th thing for scale. If you scale an object, you can scale in increments or turn it off and scale freely. This last option here is the speed, the speed at which you navigate on your level. So I'm navigating by pressing the right mouse button and controlling the direction with WASD on the keyboard. So this is uh, too fast to work. I'm going to change the speed from 4, so here you have the, the speed 4 to 3. Okay, so now it's much slower. Let's try even slower. 2. Okay, now the navigation is much, much slower. Now, down here, you have the content browser. So this is where you place all your folders, all your assets. I find it easier to navigate if you click this small icon here. And you, you have an extra tab. It's nice to navigate. On the right side, we have the details panel. So for each object, you have details. Now I have a cylinder and I can see the cylinder details. I can see the static mesh. I can see the material. I can see the physics. I can see the collisions and a lot of other details. So if I select 
the sphere, I will see the sphere's details. Up here, we have the World Outliner. The World Outliner is a list of assets that are inside the level. So right now, uh, I have selected the sphere. Let's search for the sphere here. So here is the sphere. And if I duplicate the sphere, pressing Alt and dragging, I have a second sphere, Sphere 2. If I duplicate the sphere again, I have Sphere 3. So this really is a list of everything inside our level. It's different from things inside the content browser or inside the Place Actors tab. These are just the things inside the level, nothing more. Now, up here, uh, we have a few icons. We have the modes here. We aren't, aren't going to talk about this right now, but this is when you want to make a landscape, uh, a terrain with mountains, rivers. Uh, this is for foliage, when you, you want to place grass, trees, or rocks. This one is to edit the brushes, which is a kind of uh, basic geometry that Unreal can, can uh, generate. And mesh paint, when we want to paint the meshes. Okay, so... Let's try to use a few basic objects to build something. Of course, something very, very basic. Let's start by dragging a cube. And now I'm going to scale the cube. Let's, let's say I want to make uh, some kind of building. Of course, this is not the correct way to do it when you are making a, a final product, when, when you are making your game, you should use uh, better models, not these basic and real models, but this is just to give you an example of what you can do with basic geometry. Okay, now I press Alt and drag. I have another wall. Alt and drag and rotate another wall. So you could really just build things like this, although this is not the best way to do it. Okay, another wall here. Let's make a small door another wall, another wall, and let's make a roof. So pressing Alt and rotating, we are duplicating. Okay, let's play. Every object you place in your scene will come with some type of collision. So that's why we cannot go through the walls. We are colliding with walls. Now let's try something else. Let's try some lights. Okay, I have a point light here. If, if you select the lights on the left side, you will get more options. But for now, let's just use a point light and see what it does. So a point light. Let's place it here. Okay, as you can see, it's casting shadows already because this is a dynamic light. Let's press play. Okay, you can see the character's uh, shadows. And if I want to change some details, some properties, Light, I can do it in the details panel here on the right side. 
So let's change the light color. Just click on light color, change to orange, for instance, and press OK. So now I have an orange light. What if I want the light to be stronger? I would have to change the intensity. Intensity, let's make it 20. And play again. So now we have a much stronger light. Much brighter light. Now we are going to talk about materials. Uh, materi materials in the real engine can be very complex. But to start, we are going to make a very simple material. So, to create a material, just right-click here on the content browser. So, right-click and click on Material. Let's call it something. Now let's double click the material and now we are inside the material editor. So on the left side you have a preview of your material. So right now it's just a black material. And down here you have the details of the material or the details of the node you have selected. But right now we don't have any nodes. So, let's see how materials work in Unreal Engine. So, let's start by creating a simple color. Right-click and search for constant. And you can see constant, constant 2 vector, constant 3 vector. Let's select constant 3 vector. Another way to do this with a shortcut is to press 3, keep the key pressed and left click. So 1, 2 and 3 are constant 1, constant 2 and, and constant 3. And you even have constant 4. So 1, 2, 3, So now let's change the color because this is black. So click the color here and make it red and OK. So but you still don't see the red color here because first you need to connect this node to something. In this case we are going to connect it to base color. And now you can see the effect of this node. So, right now this looks like some kind of plastic, maybe. What if we want to make it more shiny? Okay, let's make another constant. This time a uh, one constant. So, one and click. And let's connect this to the roughness. So right now we are saying that roughness is zero. So if roughness is zero, there is no roughness. Our surface is very shiny, very polished. So let's change this value to 0.2. Okay, it's still shiny, still polished, but not like before. Before it was like a mirror, and now it's a bit more diffuse. So let's try 0 0.7. Okay, this doesn't look very shiny, but it still is a bit. So as you can see, this changes the, the roughness of the object. Higher values make the object less shiny. Lower values make the object a lot more shiny. 
So let's go back to 0 0.2. Now, this material looks like plastic, maybe something like that. But we have uh, this pin here, this metallic. So if you make another constant and connect it to metallic, nothing changed because metallic is zero. So what about metallic one? So metallic one means that the surface is metallic. So one is like, yes, it's metallic. Zero, it's like, no, it's not metallic. So let's, let's, let's make this one. And let's change the color to something more realistic. If this was a metal, something gray, maybe. A darker gray. So now this looks more like metal. We can increase this number. Let's try 0 0.4. So a different kind of metal, but still metal. What about emissive color? Let's create another color. Let's make it uh, green, for instance. And now let's try to connect the color to the emissive. Okay, now we have an emissive color on top of everything else. So this is like the object is emitting light. Let's multiply. So right click, multiply, or if you want to use shortcuts, press M and click. Now we are going to multiply this color by a value, by a constant. For instance, let's multiply by 10. So now we have a very strong emissive color. So as you can see, the object is really glowing. It's emitting light. Not real light. You cannot light a scene, light your level with this kind of light, but it looks like it's emitting light. Okay, now let's drag this material to one of the spheres. So now it looks like this sphere is emitting light. Just another example, let's duplicate this material, control W, let's drag this material to the second sphere, And now, on our second material, let's make something that looks like gold, for instance. So gold is not emissive, that's because that's why I deleted the emissive part. I will select a dark uh, yellow-orange color. It's metallic. Let's try 0 0.2 in roughness. So that, sh that should be it. This already looks like gold. Okay, so here we have our gold. Let's duplicate the material again, Control W. Let's make something different. Let's make some blue plastic, for instance. So the color should be blue. 
it should not be metallic because if it's it's plastic it's not metallic so zero and the plastic i don't want it to be as shiny as the gold so 0 0.5 okay it looks like plastic i think so let's just save and that's it we have created three different materials an emissive material a shiny gold material and a plastic material so as you can see it's very simple to make this kind of materials in a real engine it can get more complicated than this of course but this these are the basics I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, so see you next time and have a nice day.